This building behind me, Omnia, is a school that offers upper secondary, adult and vocational studies in Finland. And this is the technology that they use to teach future hotel and restaurant professionals about the benefits of vertical farming. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Oliver here and also welcome to the campus of Omnia here in Espoo in the Finnish capital region. So Omnia or the Joint Authority for Education in the Espoo region is a huge educational institution that offers for example secondary upper vocational education and training, general upper secondary education as well as other vocational qualifications. As an example they offer excellent vocational programs for example for the restaurant and catering industries including cooking, waiting and bartending. In addition they also offer other really interesting uh, professional education for example for laboratory technicians and for gardeners. So what's really cool about Omnia is that it was one of the first educational institutions in all of Finland that would actually incorporate vertical farming into their curriculum specifically to their restaurant and catering education. So how they do this is by growing fresh ingredients inside their own premises and more specifically in their own training restaurant where the future restaurant and hotel professionals are being educated day to day. So this place is called Restaurant Henrikus and it is located here on Omnia's Kirkkakadu campus and it is a lunch restaurant offering lunch menus from home cooking to international flavors. The restaurant itself does have a limited full-time professional staff but most of the day-to-day operations here at the restaurants are actually run by their students who are studying to become future catering and restaurant professionals. Anyways, the restaurant is currently piloting these two vertical farming modules that basically allow them to grow their own fresh ingredients for their daily lunch menu. So these systems have been specifically designed for hotels, restaurants and retail chains that allows them to grow fresh herbs, leafy greens and berries inside their own premises just like what restaurant Henrikus is doing right here. Not only do these modules allow the staff to grow their own ingredients, especially the more exotic costly import ingredients, but these are also an important part of the restaurant's customer experience. Anyways, if you're not familiar with vertical farming, let's do a really quick recap. So in simple terms, vertical farming means that we produce food upwards in multiple layers instead of using just one plane of production like what is done in traditional field farming. This specific vertical farming behind me uses something called vertical wall production in which the plants grow on vertically inclined surfaces and face horizontally towards the lights and the user. So in addition to the specialized way that we orient the plants, these systems also use an irrigation method called aeroponics, which means that we pump a nutrient-rich water solution from the bottom of the system up the wall and through a setup of nozzles at high pressure as a fine mist which comes directly into the plant's roots. The water then circulates back in a closed loop system and the plants get all the nutrients they need from the water as it circulates inside the system. So how this system works in day-to-day -day use is actually quite simple. These systems have been designed to be fully automated, meaning that the lights, irrigation and air quality are optimized for the particular plant species being grown at each moment in time. So this means that the restaurant staff does not have to learn plant biology and instead the only thing that they have to do is to learn how to harvest the produce correctly in such a way that the plants get to grow back again and again while also keeping the system looking nice for the restaurant's customers. In addition, the staff also has to fill up the water reserve at the bottom, which has to be done roughly once per week, depending on the size of the crops and the amount of water they spend on a weekly basis. So as mentioned, Omnia is using these systems as part of their restaurant and catering education, integrating vertical farming into different curriculum and the day-to-day -day operations here at the restaurant Henrikus. In practice, this means that the students get to use these systems as part of their work, growing and harvesting the produce and learning about the benefits of local urban farming as it comes to cooking and brand building. So there's of course multiple benefits of doing local vertical farming like this inside of a restaurant's own premises, but of course the biggest one is that we get a better fresh product with a superior quality because of the high levels of optimization and control that we have inside of these units. And of course, again, since we are growing inside of the restaurant's own premises, we have no packaging material to take care of and there are no carbon emissions from last mile delivery 
due to this product. And finally, since the product is grown just a few meters away from the kitchen, the staff has to only harvest what they use on a daily basis, so there is no waste generated from this production. In fact, I would argue that the best way to use vertical farming in this kind of a setting is by building the whole food experience around the technology. This means having the growing systems located in a place where the customers can see them and experience them hands-on. But it also means incorporating it into the storytelling and how the staff tells about the menu and the ingredients being used. Finally, this can also mean that the ingredients are harvested and used on the spot. So this could mean having one of these systems behind a bar where the bartender will harvest and use fresh mint or, for example, edible flowers when preparing a drink for a customer. Naturally, there are so many other benefits that this kind of a solution can bring to the Horka sector, but we think that the best way to integrate vertical farming into the sector is by providing future professionals in this industry with access to this technology already from the start of their studies. This way, the students themselves get to innovate different use cases for this technology, and it also allows us to grow a new generation of Horka professionals who are already familiar with vertical farming and the potential benefits to their industries. In addition, in addition to the Horeca sector, Omnia is also using these systems as a part of their education for laboratory technicians and gardeners. Again, in practice this means incorporating these systems into their day-to-day -day studies with laboratory students measuring and analyzing the nutrient solution used in these systems so that it can then be optimized for each plant species being grown and with gardening students learning how to use vertical and hydroponic farming for optimal crop production in a variety of different settings. So what's really cool about Omnium is that they are able to combine all of these fields and many others into multidisciplinary studies and on-the-job learning programs that bring students from multiple fields together to learn how their individual skills and expertise impact this type of a system in the big picture. Again, using restaurant Henrikus as an example, while the laboratory students are measuring and analyzing the nutrient solution used for irrigation, the gardening students can then use this data to optimize the growth and harvesting of the products for maximum production and yield. And of course, the products grown by the gardening students are then used by the students in the restaurant and catering field, who can then use their expertise in cooking to help the laboratory and gardening students to develop even better tasting produce. Again, integrating vertical farming directly into education will allow us to grow future professional across multiple fields that are familiar with the technology even before they start their careers. Not only will this help fields like Horeca and hospitality that will greatly benefit from vertical farming in the future, but I would argue that this will also bring countless benefits to the vertical farming market in general, which is in fact in dire need of new talent from a range of fields with hands-on experience with the technology. Talking of which, next I recommend that you check out this video where we go through all the different benefits of vertical farming. Bye.